Cody Brown getting the inbound pass. Timeout taken by Wyoming East. Luke Campbell off the steal on Cody Brown, who lost his footing. Yeah, they're, they're a totally different team when Belcher's not in there. They they struggle to get set, Tony, and get going. There's no knock on Cody Brown. That's just the experience showing through of Jesse Belcher. I mean, like we said, Cody Brown's only a freshman. Scott's lead. It's dwindling down a little bit, but they're still holding it at four points. This second quarter has been mostly Wyoming East. Um, Scott done a lot of their damage, almost all their damage, really, in the first four minutes of the first quarter. Jumped out on them, and, you know, they're letting them back in it. I mean. So when what? Any. Um, so, I mean, do you think? Do you think? What do you think Scott's going to do here to try to get this momentum ball rolling back in their favor, John? I mean, do you see any? Do you see anything that maybe you would maybe make an adjustment with? No, nah, I wouldn't. You got to run your offense. Yeah, you can't, can't, you got to quit coming down, taking dumb shots. I, I mean, I know you're open, but. Uh, you got to run the set. You know that's why that's why you practice. I mean, my goodness. You know, we we've seen him take some erratic three pointers here tonight. I mean, just because uh, I don't know, just because you're open, don't mean you always shoot, Tony. Right. Now Alex Webb connecting. Now he's got six. Thirty-seven, thirty-five. Now at the minute mark. Matt Dolan crossing the half court line. Right hand side to Nevin Honeycutt. Dolan, top of the key, Dave Ward for three. Deep. No good. And Matt Dolan come up with the offensive rebound, giving it over to Tully. Tully back out to Ward. Left side Honeycutt. And we have a holding. Gonna hit hard on with that one. Now actually they're gonna hit. Luckily, they're not going to get Harmon because that would have been his third. For Scott, that would have been lucky. It would have been a blessing <laughs> for Wyoming East. But they're going to give that foul to number 40, Andrew Bishop, his second. And Harmon connecting that to free throw line. And, John, you said it, free throws are crucial. And Harmon, 2 of 2 so far. He's going to try to make it 3 of 3 here. Yeah, I mean, you got to make them. That's, that's plain and simple. You know, Harmon, he's probably one of the better shooters for a big guy at the free throw line, Tony. I'd have to agree with you there. He does a lot of the talking for us. Well, you're not a two-time WVSportsNet.com player of the game for no reason, Tony. That's right. You know, we don't just hand them out. <laughs> you got to earn them. Now at the 32nd mark, second quarter. Number 10, Zach Witten, who's in the game now for Wyoming East. Also Rankin and Schaefer check back in for the Hawks. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Shot up and good there by Wyoming East. Cody Brown doesn't get the half half court shot to fall, but at half, 39-37. Two-point lead for the Skyhawks going into the second half of play. We're going to pause, and we're going to be back with the second half of action here in just a couple minutes. So keep locked in here on WVSportsNet.com. Your sports voice of the Valley. Well, John, it's been an exciting first half. 27-20 at the end of the first quarter. Scott up by seven. And they know they, uh, they ended up with still maintaining the lead at half, 39-37, led in the way by Marshall Tully's 13 points. Very impressive off yeah. the bench, uh, um, other than the two towers, I should say, you know, getting some scoring. Absolutely. I mean, and it's good coming from that side of that basket, ain't it, Tony? Whether he's on the break or they're in their set, either one, it's good angles. 
And he's got them broad shoulders, man. When he squares up and gets his, sees that lane, he's going to be a man on a mission. And that's been the case. Nevin Honeycutt's going to come in real quick for Matt Dolan. A little bigger matchup there for uh, for Scott. A little bigger lineup, I should say. And that's what they needed. It's Wyoming East has got plenty of size. Belcher getting the inbound pass stolen away by Luke Campbell. He's going to go in. Nice no-look pass. Throw to number 24, Alex Webb. And he goes up and knocks it up at 39. It's the first time we've been tied since 0-0. Yep. And 32, Chase Morgan's going to get his second foul right there. Curious what some of the crowd's thinking, man. I see shorts, tank tops, flip flop. <laughs> People see them mid sixties. That every, every, everything comes out of the wardrobe man. on a day like today. It's crazy. Hey, that wind is a little, a little chilly on the car lot. The windbreaker was definitely out all day today. Del Alex Ebb, no good. Put back, still no good by Andrew Bishop. He'll go to line to shoot too. Give the foul to number twenty, Matt Dolan. That'll be his third now. Tried to climb up his back, Tony. To get to that rebound. Can't be doing that. I know he's not as tall, but <laughs> there's a way to improvise. That's not one of them. Yeah, they, they get you every time when you, <laughs> especially when their jersey's pulled down. Right. Oh, yeah, the refs love it when they see that uh, that jersey getting pulled all the way back. And now Wyoming East with the first lead of the night, 41-39 in the third quarter, in the first 20 seconds of action in this second half. Scott turning the ball over, getting it right back to Wyoming East. Marshall Tully on the deck. Getting a timeout. 30-second timeout taken by the Skyhawks. Nice heads-up play. Coach Kern giving words of encouragement there to Dave Ward. Yep, coaching him right up. But Tony, I mean, really, they've come out of the, the halftime, and we normally don't see Scott come out this flat. Um, two possessions, or three possessions, two turnovers, not going to work. Not going to work. You yeah, know, Wyoming East took their first lead of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, they did, 41-39. Uh, like you said, their first lead of the night. And Scott's coming out a little stagnant here, starting to get that second half feed underneath them. Well, normally they do, uh, that, that scout coaching staff does real good at halftime making the adjustments. And But there's always two intangibles of that, you know, whether you can make the right adjustments, you still got to execute them, don't you? You serve, you, yeah, you, execution, you said it right there. I mean, all the, whoever executes, I mean, it's plain and simple, whoever executes the best wins. That's right. <laughs> William Schaefer over to Jesse Belcher out top to David Ward. He's going to go in through the paint. He's going to float it up, back rim, no good. Gets his own miss. Gives it to Will Schaefer in the paint, back out to Dave Ward. He's going to use the screen for Will Schaefer baseline jumper. That one is good. Yep. He's got seven now. Dave Ward, 654 and counting in the, all knotted up at 41. Quick three, no good there by 32. Chase Morgan rebound goes to Ward. He's going to push the ball up the floor and let's see how this transition O works here for Scott. Marshall Tully. Getting it in. Dave. Oh wow. He got hit hard there. Yeah. That's one way of giving up your body. Let's hope he's all right, though. He's still on the floor. Yeah, I don't really think that that was intentional by any means, Tony. He just he went up, and yeah. Schaefer was, went by him so quick. It just, well, it just, Schaefer's like half his size, too, so that yeah. was like a ping-pong ball <laughs> bouncing <laughs> off the wall right there. Absolutely. But he's up, and let's see if he's going to take his free throw shots. He might have hit the tailbone right there. He's in some pain. Yeah. Holding that lower back area, like you said, towards his tailbone. I've, I've bruised that tailbone, and you can't walk for days. I mean, yeah. That's, that's, that's rough. That's a real deal injury right there, and that's not good for Scott because, you know, they've only used an eight-man rotation tonight, so. Yeah. Well, if I'm Coach Kingery, I'm putting my best free throw shooter in right now. Are you going? Because he's not going to be able to shoot. You know, Schaefer's not going to be able to shoot his own. Mm-hmm. He's going to bring in Matt Dolan, who's three of four from the line tonight. Skyhawks as a team. Six of eight. 
Cole can't connect on the first. Let's go. For, he's going to go for the second here, try to give the lead back to Scott. And that one is good for Dolan. We have a catch coming in, giving Justin Harmon a breather. 42-41, Scott up by one, 6.20 to go in this third quarter. Chase Morgan, right side, up top. Andrew Bishop, three-pointer, good. And there's Steel by Wyoming East, pushing the ball back up the floor. Ooh, I think the whole crowd didn't like that one, it's safe to say. Nope. Even some of the Wyoming East fans are like, whoa. <laughs> We're going to give the foul to Dolan. That's his fourth. He's connecting on the first free throw is Taylor Smith. Justin Harmon coming back in, along with uh, Cody Brown there to get Dolan and Honeycutt out of the game. Dolan with four fouls. That really hurts the Hawks. Dolan going to the going to the pine here so early. And now they're without Schaefer or Dolan. So now they're going to have to get a big time step up out of this man, freshman 22, Cody Brown. Last touch by Scott. Nice heads up play there by Chase Morgan up throwing her off the pant legs there of Cody Brown. Yeah, he was running with him, trying to mirror him, Tony, and just I think he lost track of where he was at on the court. Cody Brown, he brings that defensive intensity, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I mean, you know, he, he's got five fouls and don't even take him home with him. Dave Ward with another ball. That was too easy. Looks like he kind of baited him in a little bit, didn't he? He sure <laughs> He gave him a half a step, and then he took the full arm's length. <laughs> nice heads-up play, this time by Jesse Belcher returning the favor. Yep. And Matt Dolan couldn't come in with four fouls with Cody Brown. Interesting decision here by Kingery. Dolan's got to play very, very soft if he wants to stay in this one. Them refs know when you got four fouls. I mean, there's a couple times I've, I've heard of, uh, referees actually went up and apologizing to players after the game saying, well, hey, we, you know, we looked after for some of the things yeah. we did tonight. Yeah, he hit, uh, he hit Tully with a charge there, if I'm not mistaken, Tony. The nuts and bolts. Yep, <laughs> ain't heard that in a long time. I have you? not heard that one in a minute. That was awesome. The student section getting into it tonight with the, with the cheers and the pants. And traveling violation by Chase Morgan. And Scott's going to take the ball out. Still down 45-42, 5.17 to go in the third quarter. Justin Harmon giving our Jesse Belcher. He pushes the ball up the floor. Pulls it back out, setting up the offense. Dave Ward. Couldn't get that one. Nice spin on. He had the right idea. Used the rim as a shield there. And get Dave Ward with the foul. And mm. that Taylor hurt. Smith's going to go and one. Yeah, that does hurt. That's momentum buster. Means that make Isis Ward's first foul. He should be okay here going down the stretch. But we've seen that big momentum, Tony. We talk about it all the time. It, it's changed here. It was rolling all black and gold first half. Yeah, Scott's desperately needing to piece together a run here and fast. Just the sooner the better. You don't want this to, you know, get to a ten point lead or anything like that, because that's just even more, even more demoralizing when you're going up against the number two team in the state. Right. There's always that mental block. You know, they always say the ranking is just a number, but 
a team knows if someone's like number one in the state, you know, and that's intimidating. That's right. Well, it's at least in the back of their mind, Tony. Right. Can be intimidating, I guess, would have been more appropriate.